Gopala Astrology Channel where the science meets astrology for common man's understanding. Subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for continued astrological update. Welcome to Gopala Astrology Channel ladies and gentlemen once again and today it's going to be a very very important video of the year 2024. Saturn is going to go for retrograde motion for the next four months starting from 30th of June to 15th of November 2024. So this video is going to focus on key changes that is going to happen to the world and what are the effects of these changes into each of these zodiac signs, right? Right from Aries until the last sign of zodiac that is Pisces. I'm going to make the split video split and you can uh, go to your timestamps and you can view your predictions all right please stick on to this video until the end it's going to be a very important video and uh, it's going to be very important for your career too because saturn is the lord of 10th house in the corporation kundali all right so without wasting time let me share my screen here we are going to start our journey to understand the retrograde moment of Saturn. The dates are very clear. It is 30th June 2024. It's about a week's time from now and then it is going to finish by 15th of November. As of now, the Saturn is moving in the zodiac sign of Kumbh Rashi or the Aquarius zodiac sign. All right. So let's start to understand what, what is this in general? In general, please understand, if you are driving a car, the Saturn is like a brake pedal, Mercury is like a gas pedal, and Jupiter is like a, a clutch pedal, right? So when you want to shift gears, you need Jupiter to press the clutch, and then you have to change the gears. Whereas now, whenever the Saturn comes into play, it is going to press the gas pedal, and it is going to slow down the activities which were, in, which were going in full pace, right? So Saturn will always try to restrict things in general for everybody. All right, so just uh, watch out for these next four months until uh, 15th November 2024. Do not do major decisions. Uh, in, this is a general comment for everyone uh, as the Lord of 10,000, the Kala Purusha Kundali is Saturn and he is going for the Vakri direction. All right, so let's try to see uh, exact dates and times. I have just put this from the perspective of Indian Standard Time. It is going to happen on the 30th of June, early morning, 12.35 a.m. You can say the night of 29th of June. This transit is going to happen. That means Saturn is going to become still and then it starts moving backward um, in, in, in real understanding. The retrograde or Vakrigati of Saturn starts from there. And then it's going to become direct exactly on the 15th of November around the evening 7.51 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So in these uh, roughly four months, four months and few days, uh, the, the following signs, you know, the zodiac signs, I'm talking purely about the moon sign, right? The moon sign of Gemini, that is a, a Miduna Rashi, then the Virgo, the Kanya Rashi, the Libra, the the Tulam Rashi, then uh, you have Kumagara Rashi or Capricorn, Danas Rashi and Aquarius. These six zodiac signs are going to have some turbulent times and you have to wake up and you have to catch up the pace and uh, certain things are going to slow down and certain things are going to happen in an accelerated way which you don't need. So those changes and turbulent moments are really going to be expected in the next four months period of time. I'm just going to say, um, let us put the exact time of 30th June, what is the Rashi Kundali as of New Delhi, right? You can always apply this Jagannath Hora chart to your own respective places wherever you are seeing in the world. Now let's just try to put the chart as of uh, New Delhi. I am now getting this ascendant. See, ascendant is going to vary, but the moon sign is more or less the same because moon is about 25 degrees of Revati Nakshatra, right? So the moon is in the Revati Nakshatra, the ascendant is in also Revati Nakshatra. And look at the, the planetary alignments during this shift. What is happening there? Saturn becomes bracket. Retrograde movement of Saturn is going to happen uh, in the 12th house from that moon and ascendant, all right? Here, there is no distinction. Moon and ascendant, both are exactly in the Revati star in uh, Pisces or Minerasi. So, this moon and the ascendant is really having a, a, a tug of war between the Saturn and the Mars. Mars is there in the 
second house in its own house and Saturn is going to aspect the Mars. So this particular combination of hemming of this moon between the two Papa Grahas, we say this as a Papa Karthar Yoga in astrology, right, in Vedic astrology. So Papa Karthar Yoga is going to give a lot of, the moon represents the mindset of all the human beings on this planet, including planet, animals as well. So the Papa Karthar Yoga happens. And so what I can expect here is that um, a lot of turbulence in financial market, a lot of fights that can happen because Saturn represents the oil, the Mars represents the fire. So both of them are really not in a good position. And here it can trigger a lot of um, rebellious attitude uh, in various countries. We can see a lot of wars and civil wars are happening in one way or the other, and it is going to escalate. Of course, we have other beautiful position of Jupiter there in the third house there, whereas Sun becomes powerless in the fourth house and fifth house of intelligence. Mercury is still there to rescue, but the whole drama is happening on the Rahu Ketu axis. So that means the next uh, four months, what I'm talking about, the retrograde period of Saturn, by and large is, is going to be a very testing time and it's going to apply breaks for many of the progressive projects that's going on in the world by and large. All right. So that is the thing. And if you see, that's what I'm saying. So many wars can happen in one way or the other. People are fighting with each other. Don't expect war means there's a nuclear bomb that will be dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I'm not saying that. I'm saying within your own house, you can take. There is always a friction between the husband and wife, children. One way or the other, there is some kind of um, conflict happening and understanding becomes a problem, right? Stock market, the, the mind of the investor gets crazy. He's going to take up the money and then a lot of, um, you know, bumpy ride for stock market investors and stuff like that. So you can see crashing of the markets, sudden crashing. We are expecting the money to go up, suddenly it goes down. And that's what is is, is going to happen during the Saturn retrograde moment. Ongoing wars are going to continue. The terrorism is going to strike back. We have to be very, very careful. And any war is not desirous at all. The victims of the war will be the poor children, innocent, and a lot of military activities. Because Mars represents military, it has gone its, to its own house of Aries of competition, right? So it wants to show the domination. And so a lot of military activities against those terror attacks will happen in this process. There is some kind of friction that can happen and expect in this world in the next three to four months period of time in general. Okay, that's what is my uh, quick understanding. And this retrograde moment of Saturn is happening in Purva Bhadrapada constellation or Nakshatra. So because of this, um, the affected Nakshatras, if you go back to your birth chart, Put into your put the data into the 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 Jagannath or our website. You are going to have your moon located in one of the nakshatras. Look into that nakshatra. If it happens to be a Shravana nakshatra, Swati nakshatra, the Magha nakshatra, Ardra, Ardra nakshatra, any of these. Please, please be very careful for the next four months. Do not make any major decisions like buying of land and, you know, uh, deciding on a marriage or if at all you are going for a separation, try to see, make a smoothful transaction, right? Especially these four nakshatras are really going to be kind of tested by Saturn's retrograde moment. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to the definition of retrograde. If you are new to this channel, you may be wondering what exactly is retrograde. I always explain this scientifically. Let's try to put up this picture and an animation here. Imagine this blue color ball. What you're seeing is the path of our mother earth, right? I have just taken the immediate neighbor Mars for comparison. You can always go back to Jupiter or Saturn. The, the retrograde movement of that is really, really a long, uh, long ones compared to the Mars. But for understanding, let's put Mars here, the red color ball. So retrograde means literally none of the planets are going to go retrograde. It is, ju it is just the apparent moment. That means when you are observing from Earth, you are feeling everything from Earth, you will feel that at some point of time, Earth is going to go faster than the other planet. And if you can really see this simulation here, the Earth is going like this, and there is a stationary orbit, and then Earth is going ahead, and that is where the planet goes reverse, stationary orbit it and then back to direct motion. So a kind of loop is formed and this kind of apparent loop that appears from planet Earth is known as Vakri Gati of a planet. 
okay, what can happen to Saturn, what can happen to Jupiter, it can happen to any of the Navagrahas, except Earth, of course. So as you are observing and you are enhancing, I mean, experiencing all those results from planet Earth. That is how our ancient sages considered the retrograde moment of the planet is also a very important moment to analyze. Especially in our horoscope, if anything is in retrograde, that means it is going to delay your effects of that planet for a for a short period of time, depending on which planet it is. All right. So now before we go into the actual retrograde movement and its effects of Saturn, let's try to understand when the Saturn in your own horoscope can be giving the best results. That means based on your karma, it is known as the karmic planet. If at all Saturn is placed from your moon sign or in the or the ascendant sign in the third house, sixth house and eleventh house. That means out of all the <clears throat> the 12 zodiac signs the best position for saturn is 3 6 and 11. in the rest of the houses one way or the other saturn is going to test human beings all right so the worst is still the 12th house and first house second house but um, what i am saying here is out of 30 years movement of saturn in which it goes around the sun it can only do the best in these three zodiac signs, third house, sixth house, eleventh house, and total seven and a half years. So only you can be seven and a half years peaceful in the cycle of 30 years. I'm just joking, all right? So Saturn retrograde in this transit of Jupiter, I mean, uh, entering in the uh, Aquarius zodiac sign has happened, is happening in three times. It has already happened in uh, June 2022, June 2023, and now it is repeating again in June 2024. Usually every year once, Saturn gets retrograde for about three months, three and a half months or four months maximum. All right. So there is one more important point I want to tell you guys before I go to the actual um, the results of Saturn's retrograde movement, there is something called Saturn written. Saturn written is very, very important. See, for example, you were born and Saturn was in the zodiac sign of Aries, something like that. Saturn goes one round, it completes 30 years cycle by the time it comes back to Aries zodiac sign again. And we call that as Saturn written. Saturn written is a very, very important cycle. And he's, especially when Saturn goes over your uh, original Saturn, that is the period that you will be tested a lot. You will be made to work slog like anything, you know. So right now, the Saturn return is happening for those people who are born uh, uh, 1993 to 1996. Of course, people who are 58 to 60 years of their age, they are going through major transformation. Suppose you are a 58 years old man today, you are going to have a health problem up to 60. 60th birthday, if it is there right now as we speak, you can expect some major health transformation because of Saturn's return. All right, suppose you are in the age of 89, 88 to 90, God help you, most probably you may leave this planet, right? He is known as Raviputra Hayamagraja. He is the son of Sun, S O N of S U N, and he is the elder brother of Lord of Death. Yemen, right? So Saturn is going to bring those uh, major changes in these critical years of Saturn return. All right, that is why we always say 30th birthday, 60th birthday, and also 90th birthday. They are the critical stages wherein they will be fully tested by Saturn. All right, that's the significance of Saturn return. Do not forget this. Now, I don't want to go into the details of it. I want to just remind you guys that you watch out for something called Astaka Varga. See, whatever Gochara Palam or the transit results that we astrologers are going to give you, you should always go back to your original chart and look for Astaka Varga points. What are those Astaka Varga? They are called Bindus or the points. See, if you happen to key in all the data in the Jagannath Vora chart and then you look into the right hand bottom corner of that, there you have something called SAV and there will be a lot of numbers written on it. That is called, SAV is called Sarva Astaka Varga. Okay, if the Sarva Astaka Varga points in your chart for a particular zodiac sign where it is now happening, the transit is happening. Say, for example, now it is happening in the zodiac sign of Aquarius. If it is 33, right, 30 and above, that's a big thumbs up for you. The, the critical um, negative points will not affect you at all. 30 and above, Sarvastakavarga, all planets are giving good results for you in this zodiac sign. Don't worry about it. Okay, when you can even forget about it. So if the Sarvastakavarga points is between 25 and 30 average results of the Saturn. And the worst thing can happen to you if it is between 18 and 25 in Kumbarashi or Aquarius. 
is what you're saying. See, these are very important and technical points. Many astrologers do not tell you, they keep scaring you. But if you look at your chart, if you're Dasha and Antar Dasha, the time periods of your mean horoscope is really good. You can forget about these transit results. It is just some 20, 25% of the result that you get from this. That is why Sarvastaka Varga points and one more is called Pinna Staka Varga points. That means uh, if you go back to this previous slide, you can see that every planets are given some points here, right? You can see three, four, six, etc. for ascendant, for a sun, for moon, etc. When you analyze these points and come to the Kumbarashi, where the Kumbarashi or the zodiac sign of Aquarius is there, if the points for Saturn, for example, is between five to eight, he gives the best results in this transit best results, whether it is retrograde or whatever, right? If it is exactly four and average is going to come below, below four is really tough. So there will be a lot of challenges for you guys to face and zero to three, you have to watch out. So these mathematical points, you must watch out and then you have to come to what is known as, I, I will skip all these uh, uh, details of Saturn's positions, Dia of Saturn, I'm going to skip this. I'm directly going to Aries zodiac sign right now. All right, suppose you are belonging to Aries moon sign or Aries ascendant. More so for ascendant Aries, you have to see what is happening. Right now, I have told you that you are under the very good influence of Jupiter. Jupiter is in your second house of Taurus. We call it as Guru Balam. A lot of good things are expected for Aries uh, ascendant people to happen. But at the same time, Saturn, it's called Shani Balam, which was very powerful in the 11th house. And there is a small shift now. The Saturn is going to go retrograde. And of course, this retrograde moment doesn't fully happen. Uh, by shifting the planet itself, going to the next zodiac sign of Capricorn, for example, in the reverse direction. That is not happening, and that's why the, the shift is happening within the same zodiac sign. So many people will confuse you. Please don't get confused. Saturn will still remain in Aquarius. It is in the same uh, uh, constellation also, but its direction is changed. It starts moving backwards, of course, at the apparent moment. That means it has a tendency to give you your 10,000 results also to some extent. That's why there will be a mixed results of 10,000 11 thousand. Okay, a confused 11,000, certain part of 10,000 results are going to be expected. That means Saturn in the 11,000 is aspecting your Lagna in a retrograde motion that shows some kind of mental problems and physical problems can happen to your body. You, you will get into some worries right? Some kind of a health issue will be there because ascendant is your own body. Ascendant also represents your head, all right? Of course, financially, you will be doing still good because 11,000, it doesn't come out of the 11,000. You are going to have money, you are going to make money, but there will be some kind of a breaks that will be applied. Suppose you are investing on stock market, please be watching out because you are going to see that your stocks are going to fall down suddenly, okay, suddenly. Okay, you are expecting something to happen, you have invested money, uh, you know, thousands of dollars or lakhs of rupees, suddenly you will see a down, <clears throat> downward trend. Of course, between you and your wife, there can be some kind of a friction because it is now also going to give you partial effect of 10,000. Sitting in the 10,000 Saturn's 10th aspect falls on your wife. That means you are spouse, so there will be some friction, okay? And again, partial effect will be on the 8,000 also. So there will be some sudden changes, sudden, sudden events. You have to put extra effort than the normal. So, and then, see, on a good way, see, uh, in my style of uh, presenting things, I will always put yellow highlight for points to be careful about and then green points or the plus points for you. So positive financial aspects is going to be there. You are going to get into new ventures, new career opportunities, of course. Okay, 11,000 means it's always gains. It is always gains, whether it is any, uh, whether it is direct moment or the uh, retrograde moment. But sometimes during this um, transit, you, you may speak harshly with your colleagues or with your business partners and things like that. So you have to watch out for that. So that will have an adverse effect. Right. So overall, you are going to be really, really a tired man by the end, end of the day, in the next four months. But all the favorable results are going to happen after 15th of November. The drama is set out 
for you guys to achieve very high position in your job because 10th lord is being retrograde in 11th house 11th house is always the gain of 10th house right and saturn does the best raja yogam in the 11th house so watch out for your words be careful when you speak to people don't over exhaust uh, yourself and then you will see your results coming back to you in november november you will have all the good results and of course jupiter in the second house will be in your favor no doubt about it and and this uncalled expenses because of rahu in the 12th house i'm telling you up front all right so overall i can say 60 to 70% good results from this retrograde moment of saturn let's move on to taurus so the drama is happening in the 10th house for you guys again and saturn is trying to look at your 9th house of bhagyam so bhagyam is luck again so physically you may be lethargic you may become lazy you may have to you know uh, you may have to face some minor conflicts with your because 7th house is also being aspected from there so partners are going to um, give you some friction in making business decisions and suppose couple uh, you are uh, getting married or you are already married you are going to have some disagreement in your topic of discussion all right so in overall uh, job changes can happen to you guys because 10th house uh, the ninth lord in the 10th house is retrograding he wants to change the job suppose you want to be there in job a you have been given a lot of pressure and you feel that you are not respected there and you will look for some other job and that job will be good for you so in the next 3 uh, to 4 months you can expect a job change or suppose you are in a multinational company they may put you from one department to another there will be definitely some kind of a change that will happen in your workplace so you will le- learn the lessons from simple living and working hard right so there's a lot of things and you may rethink of your travel plans to one country please be careful and uh, father's health is going to be a big issue for brishya uh, rashi personalities right so father you may some of them may even see the death of a father because saturn is coming retrograde that suddenly he attacks that and then he may even give you some bad news I mean, if at all the per- person is suffering already that particular father may pass away right so uh, i i'm just giving you those as a input don't take this as a direct guideline okay so you have to still take care of your father and you will have difficulty in admission to the higher studies if you are seeking for higher education waiting for your foreign visas it may get delayed you have to wait you have to be patient okay that's all i can say in the retrograde moment so it is like 30% good results and 70% you have to work hard all right let's go on to gemini what is happening to midun rashi lagnam people okay so already you had seen that saturn had left your astama sani position it had gone to aquarius but since the saturn is turning back a little bit so astama sani effect can come to you to some extent so some of you guys may feel that you may have a health issue and your lower abdomen is going to be very subjective to kind of sensitivity you may have to even go for some minor surgical operations all right but it's going to be there you will get a right doctor you are going to get cured out of it especially next 3 to 4 months any pending operations in the lower abdomen is likely to happen and if at all you are sick you will get better and you should also be careful about your own father's health again all right so that is the thing so uh, make sure that um, you will you will get an authority to your position again place because saturn is still in the la- in your la- ninth house but he is having a tendency to look at your eighth house as well subordinates may not cooperate well if you are a manager and you please take avoid uh, taking stress you know you will you, you just take care of your health rather than you know correcting others correcting your subordinates don't do that so relax and enjoy sit back and enjoy this astamashini effect to some extent and it is anyway it is ninth house saturn getting retrograde so you are luck may come to you but it takes some time so i can say about 40 40% of uh, good things and 60% of challenges in the next four months so watch out and you have even lost remember you have lost your guru bala the jupiter has come to your 12th house of expenses right so let's go on to the zodiac sign of karkadak rashi or cancer zodiac sign cancer ascendant or cancer moon sign so for you guys the drama is happening in the 8th house right so you are 7th lord sitting in the 8th house looking back into the 7th house so a kind of relief from your astamashani can happen to you right it's the other way for you you were you you 
you are now going through astomachani and your health is affected and all that there is a big relief that is given by jupiter for uh, from the month of uh, you know last month from the june beginning of the june but in this middle this four months of drama is going to happen just note take note that you may lose some investments that you have already made in your partnership business don't believe your partner the partner can cheat you ignoring your health can become a big problem but guru is still there in your best position it will give you see retrograde movement of saturn gives you the ability to overcome your fears so you're going to have some mental agitation but you're going to have, have some kind of a relief right you may find solutions to the problem in this case right please understand any problems which are unsolved mysteries in your life that will get solved in the next four months that is what i can assure you that is what is the power of saturn right so if you work hard you will definitely succeed in your business but don't believe any new partners all right so i can say it's about 50 50 for cancer zodiac signs but jupiter will be there as a big remedy for you the guru balam He is going to be in your favor. Eleven thousand Jupiter will never fail you. Don't worry, guys. All right, let's go to Leo. For Leo ascendant zodiac signs or Leo moon sign people, the drama is happening in the seventh house of marriage. The marriage you want to get those guys who want to get married or get into dating, you are going to have some problem in getting. proper settlements you won't get a right, right bride or a right groom and your marriage is likely to get delayed because you also lost the ninth house guru balam which was there before so there is no guru balam there is no shani balam and you are going to be in a kind of you know fix whether should i marry now or should i not i mean i am not getting the right quality of the girl that i am looking for and stuffs like that and if you agree the girl may not agree things like that can happen better to avoid conflicts saturn will teach you patience now so with this saturn retrograding in the 7th house definitely definitely you will understand what is the definition of patience how to deal with your partners with patience you will have difficult times in competitive exams also okay and then don't borrow loans now you are going to have a chance of borrowing loans and you will get into the trap of credit cards please don't do that avoid taking loans just calm down wait for your right time when jupiter moves to gemini it will be learnt of jupiter things will be good after next year april so the next four months i i seriously advise you guys to be very calm take less risk and then again your father's health can be a big issue so again you have to take care of your father he may go through some kind of uh, medical treatments so you have to spend money for that too all right so let's go on to the zodiac sign of virgo kanya rashi or kanya ascendant personalities for you guys already you were troubled with two eclipses right so the zodiac sign of virgo was in the axis of rahu ketu and even now the rahu ketu is still there that rahu ketu axis and again the moon moon now in this gocharam beginning also is coming in that axis so it is there a kind of worry a kind of relationship problems kind of uh, you know it's sixth house saturn moving towards the fifth kind of tendency is there for that saturn so you are likely to take loans again you will repay loans anyway okay still your sixth house saturn is intact but understand you may work too much so that your health get affected you may have breathing issues you may have acidity problems you may have many other health issues in indigestion mainly stomach indigestion problems are very likely to happen you may eat some food which is not good for your system you may want to spit it out or you may have to get in get rid of the food poisoning and stuff like that that can happen every now and then in the next 4 months so you have to be very careful watch out take good support from your wife and spouse don't quarrel with them so you are lucky that you may have a spouse who, are, who is going to support you but since it's a rahu ketu axis there if you have that kanya ascendant or kanya lagnam you are going to have some frictions with your uh, wife all right with your spouse don't take much of loans again again and lot of don't make emotional decisions that's what is it is whenever the rahu ketu axis is there a lot of emotions will be involved sometimes it may even result in separation divorces people who are born with kanya moon signs they can go with separation from the spouse they may get divorced from their husbands or our wives so there will be a lot of friction of course we have to watch out the main horoscope chart again these are all the gochara palams or the transit results all right so still the the main horoscope dominates 
your um, your uh, results but watch out for these things that can happen okay do not quarrel with your spouse now tulam rashi are the libra ascendant zodiac signs the people of this uh, you'll have to take care of your health again there will be uh, you shouldn't make any financial short term investments again see what is happening here saturn sitting in the 5th house is aspecting your 7th house of partners it is aspecting your 11th house of gains directly and again it is aspecting your second house of finance so both the houses of finance is being afflicted by saturn so you have to be very very careful in investing money buying property or you may you may think that let me put the money here in this stocks and shares it will grow later but you may end up in losses all right both the financial houses are being aspected by the saturn you have to be very very careful of course saturn is a yoga karaka planet for libra ascendant sign but i would warn you guys not to do big investments don't get into arguments with your with your own partner you know you may you may have kind of uh, setbacks in losing a job okay you may change job or you may lose its current job when you take a break okay and things like that so those who are single may get married there is a chance suddenly you may think of marriage with a, with your boyfriend or a girlfriend right so there is a kind of marital happiness that is expected but what i am seeing here is you lost the guru bala right i am seeing the holistic picture of what is happening in the transits so since jupiter has gone to your uh, uh eight house i don't think you should think of um, tying a knot until next year until you get the guru balam of ninth house jupiter all right so overall i can say libra you are going to be tested for 60% 40% is good let's go on to scorpio zodiac signs for scorpio people what is going to happen is this fourth house of drama right mother's health will be uh, slowly getting improved because saturn is moving little bit backwards right so that can give really if at all your mom was already having problem in her health she will get into a better relief by a good doctor and things like that so that is the thing so there is not a problem and uh, we don't expect you to go and have a conflict with domestic from fourth house is all about domestic area of family don't don't give go and give, keep on giving advices to people who are already stubborn and things like that but for you already a very good time is expected because of jupiter's seventh house position so jupiter is going to be there if at all you are planning to get married you want to change your jobs yes my friend you can go ahead because change of job is indicated for good okay 10th house aspect of this saturn is there a retrograding saturn looking at the 10th house can change the job you are doing something and then after this next four months you will end up in totally doing something else you are working for somebody suddenly you may start doing a business i'm just uh, telling you as an example right it can be the either way you are doing a business you may end up in doing a job so the change in the way you do your karma that is job right is going to be afflicted it is affecting your health also to a greater extent it is going to make sure don't uh, you shouldn't begin a project right away you should wait for it and you work hard now do all the ground work and you may even get foreign opportunities also you may start doing trading with foreign countries and you may make money out of it right so since ascendant is being afflicted uh, with the drishti of shani bhagwan you have to be careful on your health also or do more yoga pranayamas and all that all those things and you are going to be giving yourself a favor all right let's go on to the sagittarius or dhanas rashi or dhanas lagnam people born with dhanas rashi or dhanas lagnam is going to have this drama happening in the third house the third house is always good for saturn to be there but he is coming back a tendency of him looking at the uh, second house and giving this last portion of sadhi sati effect to some extent you can see those who have lost the job in the last two months are likely to settle down for a lesser salary job during this period of time i had already told you in my previous video jupiter you lost the power of jupiter fifth house jupiter went to sixth house many of you have lost the job or changing jobs and stuff like that and now the saturn is also having a tendency to come back it's going to give you some friction in the financial position it's going to give you a job which is less beneficial in terms of finance right you are doing some 100000 dollar job you may end up in 75000 dollar job annually 
I'm just giving an example, right? You teach efforts to better yourself. Communication is very important. Third house of communication will be afflicted. If you feel, you will feel more confident anyway, but you have to work hard, make sure you communicate properly to, if at all, you are already a manager, you have to communicate very well with your, with your uh, subordinates and make sure they understand what is your intention. Okay, the plus points are that you are going to enjoy a relationship with your siblings. It's going to get better. Right, the siblings will understand you better. You are going to get some leadership roles. You may have some short distance travels also. Right, let's go to Magara Rasi or Magara Lagnam. Right, Capricorn ascendant personalities. Right now, all the drama is happening towards your Rashi. Right, uh, that means Saturn being in the second house, your Lagnadipati is coming and trying to look at your house. So you may have health issues, minor arguments, whatever you are going to be talking, people are going to misunderstand. And also some financial crisis can happen in the second house. Right? So Guru Balam is there. Fifth house Guru is really going to make those people who are single get married. But you may have to be very, very watchful in choosing the right spouse. And again, speech. Speaking harshly can affect your Subordinates, if you told you are already, already a manager, learn how to relax and talk to them in a right way so that they can support you when you are really in need of your subordinates and stuff like that. Even your partners, be very careful. And uh, confusions and laziness can happen because of your health issues. And you are going to have some break from your profession. You may take a break, you may go for a pilgrimage and stuff like that can happen during this period of time. Look at what is happening. Your Saturn sitting in the second house aspects, fourth house of comfort. So he's going to give you some testing time there, eighth house of health and eleventh house of gains. Again, you also may get into some speculative investments and suffer some losses. All right. So don't invest too much. Just one thing at a time, one step at a time. You take it. If, if possible, take a break and go for a pilgrimage. All right, so Aquarius, Kumbarashi, all the drama is happening right now in your own zodiac sign, zodiac sign, or moon sign, or ascendant. Any of these, you will not get the respect that you deserve for all the hard work that you have been putting. Right, so sitting in the first house, the 12th Lord is trying to look at the 12th house of losses. So be patient, patient, and patient. Health worries. Uh, okay, can significantly strike you. You may get into some kind of medical treatments and you may spend some money for your, with your doctor. Okay, you will feel stressed under pressure and make sure your father's health is very well taken care. Father's health, right? Nine thousand of father. Father's health can be a serious issue. It can, I, I don't want to use the word death, but there will be near-death experience for your father. You may have to spend a lot of money, sudden for overseas travel is expected and you may fly to a foreign country to perform certain duties along with your spouse you may have some friction some misunderstandings are likely to happen in the next four months so be very careful watch out your expenses whatever you are confident on do that and finally after four months there is some kind of a reputation that can increase because of all your hard work people are watching you Right, people are watching you. They know that you are innocent, but you are made to work very hard at this point of time. So think, 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 and then act. That's all I can say at this point of time. You don't have a Guru Balam yet. Okay, Rahu in the second house is already spoiling that second house of family and finances. All right. The last one is Pisces or Meena Rasi. Right. So Meena Rasi personalities are going through Sade Sati period of Saturn. This is slight relief for you guys. Those who are, you may get hospitalized, but you will get a right doctor. You will come back home. There is an expense, expense that is coming. And again, there is some kind of a relief because Saturn is looking to go towards your 11th house. But he doesn't, he doesn't go to the 11th house anyway. He's already in the 7th, 12th house. So avoid disagreements with husband, wife, all these relationships could be afflicted because Saturn looks at the second house of family, sixth house of health, and ninth house of luck, father. Conflicts with father can happen. Okay. And foreign travels. There is a likelihood if there were some visas that were pending for higher education for those students with Meena Rashi, they are going to get it back. Okay. So there is a temporary relief for you, temporary relief for four months. So hospitalizations and unexpensive, unnecessary expenses can come, but you will get back home. 
but i cannot guarantee you this after completion of 15th of november right so there is a temporary relief you make good use of it take care of your health medical insurance get it done and stuff like that and some foreign clients can help you as well in your business if at all you are a businessman with uh, um vices or yeah sign right you will spend wisely any anyway so flambe relationships are going to be a thumbs up for you because you are going to be very watchful you are already you have already become humble because of sare sath right of course you are still to get guru balam but the rahu ketu axis is really going to give you some disappointments with your spouses and some people who are with this zodiac sign can even end up in uh, dissolution of marriage that means you may apply for divorce or some things like that so take one step at a time you are going to get benefit the next four months is really a big relief it's like a oasis when you are traveling the desert right that is what is my expectation for meena rashi personalities we have come to the end of this video if at all you have any questions please do not hesitate to put it in the comment section whenever i have time i'm going to reply to you guys please click subscribe button share this video to most of your friends i'm making a lot of knowledgeable videos thank you very much see you bye